You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, guys, we're going to be talking about Tony Maserati, a Boston radio sports host, because he got into some hot water with some comments he actually made on his show. Now, the comments that he made was actually referencing uh, two black people that his uh, co-host was actually sitting behind. It was a joke, but now he has been suspended and the employees at the company now are forced to take sensitivity training because of his comments. So let's go ahead and dive into this on our kick. Tony Maserati, the co-host of the uh, Felger and and uh, Ma show radio show in Boston, issued an apology on Monday after making what he called hurtful comments about two black people. Despite his apology, Maserati has been suspended without pay and all on air talent is being forced to take sensitivity training. During Friday's episode of the show, Maserati asked his uh, remote co-host, Michael Felger, about two black people sitting behind him on camera. Now, here is the clip. I'm actually going to play the clip here. And uh, that's the co-host right there. And behind him, there's uh, one black person you can actually see there. And there's another one behind him. I guess he's just on location. I'm not too familiar with this show at all. But Tony Maserati made a joke. And now he is in hot water. Let's go ahead and play this clip. Yeah, I want to know now who the two guys behind you are. That's what I want. Okay. Because if I were you... I'll be off in two minutes. I'm just doing... I got just... If, if I'm too loud, just let me know. Honestly. <laughs> they can't... Two more minutes. They can't hear us, right? No, not you. Okay, no. So I would be careful if I were you because the last time you were on a couple of guys like that, they stole your car. <laughs> Here's Chris in Boston. Go ahead, Chris. Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, I want to talk about... Yeah, so... That is the uh, comment that has now gotten him suspended. But he was actually referencing a real incident where his co-host actually got his car stolen. I believe he was actually in New Orleans. So that incident really did happen right there. Now, I actually tried to do some research on um, who actually stole the car. I'm not really sure. We still don't know who actually stole his car, I believe. I mean, if you guys actually know who stole the car, the race of the people, let us know that in the comments, but I tried to look for it and I could not find it. But, however, during Monday's show, Maserati issued an emotional apology saying, quote, I owe everyone an apology. It's not who I am. It's not who we are. And in this clip right here, he's definitely, definitely very, very emotional. It seems like he's about to break down in tears, actually apologizing for his joke that he made. Now, was I offended by what he said? No, I really don't care, you know, but I can see how some people would actually um, feel offended. You know, the, the weak minded people that um, that really can't take a joke, they would get offended by something like this. And to me, I don't really get offended by much of anything that people say. You know, remember Morgan Freeman? We actually talked about him um, uh, last week where he actually came out and said he didn't want a black history month or anything like that. And um, and. Mike Wallace said, how do we actually get rid of racism? He said, we stop talking about it. And I agree with Morgan Freeman. To me, this was really not much to me. It didn't affect me. But I do understand how some people could actually be offended by this. But let's go ahead and uh, listen to his apology here. Let's roll it. We have to clean up something from Friday. We had a bad moment on Friday afternoon. And so we just want to clean up that little bit of business. And so, Maz, the floor is yours. Okay, so as you said, late, <clears throat> late in the show on Friday, I made some comments. You can already hear he's cracking up a little bit. That angered and upset some people, and rightfully so. So uh, I wish I could take them back. I can't. They were uh, insensitive. They were hurtful. And frankly, they hurt the cause for those of us who believe in racial and social equality and all of those things. And I do. I'm on that side of the line, which is what made this thing so difficult in so many different ways. So I owe everyone an apology. It's not who I am. It's not who we are. I can tell you that until I'm blue in the face. Those of you who know me will believe it. Those of you who don't, won't. And you probably shouldn't. If I saw and heard what you did, 
Uh, I feel the same way. And you have a right to be upset. The, the only thing I can really do is apologize for it. Um, again, you know, there is, when we're talking about these sorts of issues, there is a line somewhere, and I can assure you I stand on the right side of it. But you, again, that doesn't excuse what I said or did on Friday. It was really, I meant, if anyone cares, to poke fun at you, Mike. Uh, it didn't come off that way. It came off as something far broader and uh, ignorant. And uh, I, I'm regretful of that. I don't know what more I can say other than I'm sorry to you and to Murray for dragging you into it. Oh, please. For Jimmy Stewart, for the people here at the station, let alone friends and colleagues in the business who are dealing with it on assorted different levels. So, um, again, all I can tell you is it's not who I am. And I was it got a little silly and stupid at the end of the show. I was trying to be a wise ass like I often am. And it just came out wrong. And I wish I could give you a better answer than that because we're in a business where we should be careful about what we say and how we say it. And, uh, and I wasn't. So... Okay, so they have it right there. And in his joke, he never actually um, talked about the race of the two uh, black guys that were actually behind uh, the co-hosts. Now, I do believe, guys, I'm going to be honest here. If the two black guys were actually two white guys and he said, you know, the last time you were around uh, guys like that, they stole your car. He wouldn't be suspended today. He would have not been suspended today. And uh, now, because of that, everybody is forced to actually have to attend sensitivity training. And he's going to be out the uh, the rest of the week. I mean, if you go back, I don't believe he actually referenced the race of the people sitting behind him. He did not. He was trying to actually tell a joke. And now he, he's he's suspended. So but that's pretty much it, guys. What do you guys think of this? Do you think that... um? Tony Maserati was actually trying to be racist with that comment. I don't think so. I don't think so whatsoever. But at the end of the day, he's going to be off there the rest of the week. I'm assuming he'll be back next week. Sensitivity training for everybody. Man, I got to tell you this. Uh, the comedy industry is pretty much dead. Now, of course, this is sports, but we have definitely seen what's happened to comedy here in this country. You can't even tell jokes anymore. If comedians can't tell jokes on the stage, just imagine how people on radio, they're not allowed to actually tell jokes. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.